in order to create a portal frame you can choose two options the first one is the completely automated option for doing portal frames you can do a, a portal frame like this one but, n but not like this one so for the first one you go here to extended modeling tab and you can choose between these options for doing a portal frame for example this one it's very simple with coordinates well note that you have to adjust the coordinate system by default the coordinate system is like this uh, so you have to modify it in order to have the the coordinate system in the in the x and y axis for the portal frame so i have to switch this and now the y axis and that's all right so now I create automatically a portal frame the, f the height of the of the first column and the height well that's not what I wanted again the distance, the span distance uh, 8000 millimeters the height uh, of 600, well that's it and now you can adjust all the parameters here the profiles, you can choose between steel profiles and all, all the dimension adjust settings that you want to change if you want to do a concrete frame you have to do it manually or if you want a more complex uh, frame like this one or or this one well we are going to do it if you want to do this kind of portal frame you have to paint the polylines with this tool here utilities and design so i have created this one and now you go to objects and you choose this tool here for transform polyline into profiles you select all of them I don't want to delete look at the orientation uh, well all the orientation uh, uh, well, th that's it this way Everything is fine. Now I have to use the connection vault. I go to extended modeling, and here you have to the joint vault or the connection vault. And you have all the types of, of uh, standard connections of uh, advanced steel. For example, I want to use this one for the column to rafter. No, that's enough. First, enter, rafter, enter no default options and that's uh, ok uh, in this window you can select all the properties you want for the plate, for the vaults you can choose between uh, a lot of options if you want to open again this window you have to select one of the elements of the joint and go to advanced joint properties and now there is a gray box for the connection anytime you want to open you just have to click twice in the connection box for this one we go to joint uh, vault and we have to choose anything else for example this one That's, that was not ok, I click first the rafter, second the rafter and third the column first the rafter, second the rafter, third the column no default values fine that's everything you have to know you can really choose between a lot of connection types